Hi, everybody. Tony Loray here again from the Provident Loan Society. Uh, today, I want to talk about a topic that's near and dear to my heart, uh, diamonds. And, and it's a big topic, and there's a lot of different uh, parts of this topic, but I'm going to focus on one thing uh, specifically today, uh, just to let people know what is, aware, uh, what is available out there in the diamond market. Um, it, over time, we'll get into the pitfalls and pros and cons of each one. But anyway, um, it, two things brought this conversation to my attention. One is that there is a new commercial out there by the Diamond Council called Real is Rare, um, telling you the difference between or uh, explaining to you that there's a difference between natural diamonds and synthetic diamonds. And uh, that's one of the things I want to make you aware of. The other thing is that here at the Provident, you know, we train our, we, I consider my appraisers to be professionals. They're a little bit more well-trained than most in recognizing diamonds and grading diamonds, uh, and I consider them to be uh, professional appraisers. Um, and what I've come across is the fact that some people bring us diamonds and don't know or were not told or didn't understand that these diamonds were enhanced, as they call them, in a certain, in a certain way. Um, and they're surprised to find out from our appraisers many times that this that they own this that they even own this item and that they didn't realize at the time of purchase and uh, sometimes it's due to unscrupulous individuals selling them things and sometimes it's due to people want to look past they're getting a good deal and they look past what people are saying to them and telling them you know and they're just focused on getting a good deal um, so just to let you understand there are to, there are now a, a prevalence of synthetic diamonds out there. So you can actually search and buy a synthetic diamond. Now, a synthetic diamond meaning that it's a man-made, laboratory-created item uh, that has the same optical and physical properties as a real diamond, okay? And, of course, these are going to cost you much less, less, less than half in most cases of a comparable natural diamond. Now, these have been around for a long time, but it's just recently that they are commercially uh, viable, commercially profitable. Uh, they used to be heard of synthetic diamonds for commercial applications as far as industry, but now they're, they're making them large enough, big enough quality-wise to be sold as an engagement ring, let's say. Uh, synthetic being different than uh, excuse me, synthetic being different than a simulant. Everybody, or most people know about cubic zirconias, that was something that was created to look like a diamond. And over the years, of course, things like rhinestones and white sapphire and even glass were put into rings just to make them look like diamonds. But here we're talking about an item that is a duck, that is the same, if you look at it, it's going to have all the same properties as a diamond, and only a uh, trained laboratory can distinguish the difference. Um, but more of what you're going to encounter is what we call these enhanced diamonds, which are diamonds that had some trouble, whether they had uh, certain types of imperfections or, 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 or flaws, as you would know them, inclusions to us in the, uh, in the industries, um, or color defects that... Um, were somehow modified or enhanced again uh, to either eliminate or mask those things. Uh, the most prevalent ones are uh, what we know as fracture filled, whereas uh, diamonds that have external uh, imperfections were they develop material and processes where they can fill them and mask them. So they they were there. They don't eliminate the flaws, but they make them look they make them look better. And uh, there is laser, what they call laser drilling, which um, again by a mechanical process was able to find certain types of imperfections and not remove them, but make them look better, make them appear better to the naked eye and thereby making the stone more visually appear, appealing and more sellable. Uh, more recently, there is a process called HTHP, which is high temperature, high pressure, which will take a, uh, a diamond of dubious color and with this process, improve the color or attempt to improve the color anyway. And uh, whether you know it or not, the better the color of a diamond, the more expensive that diamond becomes. The problem here is that for the layperson, uh, it's impossible for you to detect that. Unless you're a professional, it's impossible for you to detect that. Uh, 
So you have to depend on the person that's selling this to you to disclose this information. Now, by law, it's supposed to be disclosed. And yes, most places do. But the problem with that is, like I said, some people look past what people are telling them. People look at the word enhanced like this is a better diamond than the diamond than the diamond that wasn't enhanced. Uh, it, it's better in the in that it looks better than before it was enhanced. But it's not better in the fact that it was that it was treated in some way to make it look better. There was some interaction uh, by human beings to do something to the stone besides the cutting process. Um, so my recommendation is, as always, is going to be to uh, trust a professional. You know, the idea of getting the the best deal possible. Fine. You know, uh, it's America. That's what we should be doing. You're looking for your best deal. But um, how are you going to protect yourself from uh, a fraud or B, uh, getting something that really maybe you didn't understand what you were getting yourself into? Uh, the, you know what I mean? The first thing is the, the old rule of if it sounds too good to be true, if the price is too cheap, it probably something there. If you're looking at an X quality stone, X size, and you go to five places and it's all the same price or close and now you go to another place and all of a sudden it's half the price well you have to question why that is and you should bring that up you say that to a person but anyway the the focus of what i'm going to tell you is tr please try to deal with a professional with somebody you look up their reputation i mean you wouldn't use a doctor without looking up what their qualifications are whether it be a pawnbroker or a jeweler you should see what their reputation and what their qualifications are and how professional they are and if you do that you won't be disappointed. Thank you all and have a good day.